Well, thank you, McGraw, and welcome, everyone, to Wednesday, May the 8th. The three brothers accused of holding captive three women for as long as 10 years in a Cleveland home could appear in court as early as this morning. Ariel, Pedro, and O'Neill Castro were arrested after one of the women kicked out the bottom of a locked screen door and used a neighbor's phone to call 911. ABC News has learned authorities have until 11 o'clock tonight to charge the men. ABC's Alex Perez in Cleveland reports authorities have gathered more evidence from the scene of the crime. Police investigators in hazmat suits returned to Castro's house overnight, removing more evidence, including parts of that door Amanda Barry was able to escape through. Detectives towing away cars. ABC News has learned the modest home has a 760 square foot basement reportedly sealed off by a padlocked door. Two of the women disappeared while in their teens. One went missing when she was in her 20s. The Republican led House is expected to approve a bill today that would give employees working in the private sector the option of taking time off instead of getting paid overtime. The bill does not have much of a chance in the Democratic controlled Senate. Delaware is now the 11th state to make same sex marriage legal. That means on the 1st of July, couples in civil unions will be converted to marriages over the next year, and no new civil unions will be performed after that date. Rescue officials in Italy fear that people may be trapped in a control tower elevator that a cargo ship slammed into. At least four people died in last night's crash that sent the tower toppling into the port of Genoa. And finally, former NBA star Dennis Rodman is tapping his friendship with North Korean leader Kim Jong Un to call for the release of a Korean American man detained in the North. Rodman met with Kim during a visit to Pyongyang in February, and they watched an exhibition game together. Today, Rodman sent a tweet calling on Kim to, quote, do me a solid and cut Kenneth Bay loose. Bay is a tour operator who was arrested in North Korea in November. We'll let you know what happens. We've got 58 degrees at 637. I'll bring you local news at the top of the hour. From our Window World Studios, I'm Victoria Babu, KTRS News. At Sears, shop for new tires at your